Hi guys, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Now, I hadn't actually planned on filming this video, but I actually just watched the Britain's Got Talent finale musical theatre extravaganza final performance, which was Mary Poppins, Phantom of the Opera and Les Mis, and I couldn't just sit and say nothing. Now, the majority of you guys that watch my channel are aspiring musical theatre performers. Some of you might already be musical theatre performers, and most of you just love theatre. So, I really felt like I wanted to make a video about this. As you're all aware, we are currently in the midst of a global pandemic pandemic and life is slowly but surely starting to go back to normal. However, one industry that really really is not getting back to any kind of normal is the arts. I am completely aware that most industries in the world have majorly suffered financially throughout this crisis. However, the arts is obviously something that is super close to my heart and is basically my whole life so I wanted to talk about it. As I'm filming this, around a week ago the UK government suggested that people working within the arts should consider retraining and changing careers. Now, I think what a lot of people forget is this is not just performers. There are so, so many people that work within the performing arts industry that go way beyond performers. There are producers, there are agents, wiggies, costume designers, set designers, stage managers, assistant stage managers, dance captains, choreographers, and so, so many more that I could literally spend a whole video just naming the people that help to make our art so incredible. As a student who is currently at drama school training to go into the musical theatre industry, obviously Obviously, hearing this statement was utterly heartbreaking and just shocking. I'm also so angered by the fact that our industry has been labelled as an unskilled profession. I think you can all agree with me that that is very, very far from the truth. And if you are someone currently watching this video looking to learn more about the arts and you did believe we're an unskilled industry, please, please understand that everyone within our industry is so, so highly skilled from all of those professions that I've just spoken about and many more. We train for our entire lives and dedicate our lives to this industry and work so, so hard to be the most highly skilled and the best at our jobs that we possibly can be. So please, please do not let anyone tell you and make you believe that our industry is unskilled because I cannot shout loud enough that that is so unbelievably far from the truth. I feel like I'm just rambling because I feel so passionate and I don't really know what I'm saying. But where is theatre gonna go? This is a big question that obviously scares everyone. And what a lot of people fail to understand is that music theatre is people's job. It's our profession. It's not just a hobby. I think for a lot of us we can feel very helpless at the moment and sit at home and feel like what can we actually do to make a difference? So I ask all of you watching this video to please share the hashtags over on your social media whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Share hashtag save the arts, hashtag highly skilled and hashtag more than viable. The more that we can get these hashtags trending and out there the more chance that we have of someone who is in higher power making the decisions we can help to convince them that we want our theatres to reopen because this is our life. So please I plead all of you watching this video if you just make one post I can't explain to you how much of a difference it really really could make. Of course when we're saying we want our theatres to reopen we want this to be in a way that is safe for all the audience members and performers however we also need it to happen in a way that it still allows those working within the arts to have it as their primary career. The second thing that you guys can also do is help to support theatre when it begins to reopen. Theatre is slowly reopening within the government guidelines. Unfortunately they are still super super strict and making it very challenging for theatre to reopen but for example I saw Pippin in Vauxhall the other day. You had to sit in your socially distanced bubble and it was outside but it is a way of the arts getting started again. So if you can head over to performances like that then please please do. Also Les Mis is supposed to, fingers crossed, be opening in concert at the Sondheim Theatre at the beginning of December for a six week run. The support over on that has been phenomenal. The site crashed when tickets were launched because so, so many people wanted to get a hold of them. And does that not just prove to everyone watching this video and the government that people need the arts in their life? The arts brings joy, the arts brings happiness, and it is people's career. So I really feel like I've rambled in this video and I'm really not sure if this is going to help anything at all. But if this just makes one person post a story or post something on social media to help raise awareness, then I am very happy that I made it. 
I'm sending you guys so, so much love. Whether you are currently a performer who's out of work or someone who's at drama school like me, feeling slightly helpless about the industry that we're meant to be graduating into, I'm sending you all the love and we will get through this. The arts will survive. I have no fear about that because we are too strong to let it die. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.